Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to another Spyro the Dragon texture hack. Spyro World Viewer, unfortunately not in game at this time, but nonetheless, we're here to discuss this texture hack here, which I have not actually titled yet. I mean, really, it's sort of midnight. Uh, cove sort of thing, Nort Cove at night, um, something like that, and uh, yeah, I've used Spooky Swamp's background to transform this level into a nighttime level, and you know, it's one of those things a bit like, um, a bit like with Midnight uh, Wizard Peak, or the Wizard Peak at night, I almost feel like, now that I've sort of been messing around with this long enough, I almost feel like this level suits being at night more than it does a day. Um, one thing is that there's a jarring contrast between the colour of the water uh, in the original level and the skybox. So the skybox is sort of, it's a great skybox, but it kind of, like, it's sort of all over the place. It's more pink sort of stuff like that, and the water's more purple. So what I decided to do is actually make them as close to being the same colour as possible. And uh, as you saw in the original graphic there, uh, the, the water kind of looks a bit strange, a bit pixelated, especially in the world viewer. So, um, yeah, I thought I may as well change that and make it see, see it sort of is quite seamless between the, the the skybox and that. I just thought that'd be cool. We've got the insides over here and the colours remain most of the same, but a little bit more muted, a bit more dark because of the fact that we're, you know, changing the colours of the textures. Um, you know, we're putting more blue sort of on it, more dark blue, very dark blue, and then at about I think it's like forty percent opacity, so it's sort of like overlaying over the colour. Um come up here it's night time fantastic I really like it um, okay next bit we got yeah more of this more of this and here we are the nice little bit here I thought I'd try and make some cool cinematic shots I I quite like uh, unfortunately I've ever since I've upgraded this computer the mouse has a mind of its own like it goes it like see this right now I'm just I just let that go it, like automatically is doing that I don't know why now I've changed the color of these to being purple instead of red just because I thought it would be a cool color contrast you know add to the purple you know overall purple blue tone of the level they it does fit when it was uh, red but I don't know I just thought I, I might as well try it out and in here of course you know everything changes um, you know if I could I'd make it all darker but then that would be at the risk of making everything too dark see I wanted the green of the um, of the what's the word like the mountains to still be so you know what I mean rather than it be like too too dark but I think this is like a perfect amount of darkness where it is clearly nighttime but not like at a ridiculous level if you know what I mean but um, yeah, we've got this area here, this the final section of the level. It's pretty cool, really. The whole actual level is like under all this water and stuff like that. However, however, nasty, nasty inhabited quite a cool, cool bit of area, didn't he? What a legend. Okay, and here we are. Final little bit going under here, going under the bridge, just because I thought that'd be fun, nice and fast. And uh, yeah, one more quick cinematic shot, which you're going to see here. Look at this, fantastic. Ready. Ready, and now. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, texture hack. I will be back with more texture hacks, don't worry. Thank you guys very much for all the support as usual, and uh, make sure you share this around with your friends. And uh, yeah, have a good day guys and girls, see you later.